There's so many things that can go wrong here. <laughs> but that's what's fun about it, right? Wait a minute. Oh my goodness, no! Look at that. When I get my torch out, my hand goes inside my body. <laughs> that's amazing. Let's get a, cl a close-up shot of that. Hello everybody, my name is Mr. Stixman and welcome to another episode of Career Mode in Stormworks Build and Rescue. Today we have some plans, we have a new job to do because I'm going to deliver two containers in this episode, but I'm going to deliver them at the same time. So just over my shoulder to the right hand side of the screen, I have got this massive new trailer waiting uh, in the train shed ready to go. It's got two cranes on it, it's really really long, it's much longer than the previous one, it's got more wheels, it's got a ton of features, um, so we're going to have a look at that first. I'm also going to show you some upgrades I've done to the truck as well and a whole lot more so let's get started and here is the new trailer look at the size of this thing it does just about fit into the train shed build area um, but it was quite a challenge to make because of that limited size if we owned a hangar it'd be much easier to build something like this um, and so I've had to you know use tracks and things to extend it when it's spawned in already you can see there's a bit of uh, a bit of a height difference here I think some of the tracks are falling down but it is working I've tested it and yes I can't wait to try this um, out in the world here it is tipping down with rain at the moment so that's not going to affect us too much I don't think let me just walk you around some of the features in general but I'll save demonstrating it properly until we actually get over to our containers ready to load them on and deliver them as well so over here at the back of the trailer we've got six wheels now all of them with a high grip tire on and they've all got 95% um, air pressure in as well so hopefully that will give us plenty of grip it seems to uh, with the testing that I've done already um, we've also put on a couple of small generators here only on two of the wheels and they don't generate too much power but they do generate a bit so if we go down hills for example and you know just off the throttle a bit uh, we will be generating a bit of battery power back using gravity alone. And that was Brian's suggestion, I think. So thank you, Brian, for that. And yes, we are trying it now. So let's hope it goes well. It should do. To be honest, I could probably put them on all the wheels and generate a bit more power. But let's go with that for now, and it should be fine. And didn't this trailer just move? It might have done. <laughs> anyway, let's carry on. Here is where we're going to hitch it up to the truck. And of course, this has moved forward. There's a massive plate here at the front with a big gap. And that is just so that uh, the wheels at the back of the truck don't knock into the tracks here and cause any more issues. Down here, I'll show you what these do later on. But you can see I've got a, a bit of a mechanism going on under there. And we have buttons all of the way around the exterior of this trailer um, for operating the many different mechanisms it has on board. Then there's, of course, just two beds here. I have actually changed the design of the beds themselves if that's I think they're called beds aren't they I think so uh, we've got more microcontrollers it's a lot more complex than the previous version if I just get my torch out here you can kind of see we've got some medium batteries here um, and yeah just microcontrollers and all kinds of stuff a lot of the stuff I've got is underneath these things if I just put this down you can see I've got a couple of small batteries there and three micro or oh, four microcontrollers here as well tucked away underneath Okay, so now I suppose it's time to actually get on with our mission for the day. But I do have to mention, and as one of my kind viewers suggested, I think your name was Falk Reinecke, I hope I've said that correctly. But thank you very much for this, because you've suggested to make a brand new world, because we do have a new type of container in the game, but I think you have to actually uh, have a new world to get those spawned in. So if we have a look over here, you can see uh, they're pretty much the same, but they weigh a lot less. And they've also got a couple of extra buttons on for releasing connectors and things. These containers are just upgraded, they're lighter and they're much better. So 2,500 each compared to 4,000 uh, weight from the previous versions. Um, so we're going to be uh, carrying a total of 5,000 weight if that's, I don't know if it's kilograms or whatever it is. But yeah, we're going to have a total of 5,000 on our trailer instead of 4,000 from last time. And so I have made a brand new world here, but it's exactly the same seed. We've got exactly the same amount of money up here, although because I've spawned in the trailer, um, I'll just show you that if I despawn it, you can see that we have the same amount of money as uh, before. There we go, $58,106, so no difference there. Also, we own the exact uh, amount of locations as well that we did before, so we still own the North Harbour here, and we also own the starter base as well, the Coast Guard Outpost Beginner 
just over there. Okay, so nothing has changed at all with the exception of one thing, which might be a couple of crates that spawn in on the land. They might be there again now because, of course, we haven't collected them in this new world. But the ones that spawn in the water are kind of randomly generated um, all the time. So there wouldn't be any difference in the water for the crates anyway. And also, I just want to quickly thank Ebenezer Paul, if that's how you say uh, your name as well, because um, you suggested to make one big trailer to carry two containers instead of two small, uh, smaller trailers. And yeah, that's a good idea, I think. There's less chance of things going wrong. And so that's what we've done here. We've got this massive monster of a trailer. But now let's go and hook it up with the truck. And I will explain some of the new features the truck has as well um, while we're doing all that. Okay, here's the truck then. Now, first of all, we're going to refuel it uh, because, well, <laughs> we won't get anywhere without putting a bit of fuel in. Even though it's electric powered, we do have to generate that power in the first place. So there we go. And it should be filling up nicely. Yeah, there we are. There's the fuel gauge there, and it should take about 1,400 litres. Um, so we're pretty much there already, actually. There we go. <laughs> very, very nice. Right, so we'll just uh, take off the hose there, put it back in its holder. And yeah, I don't know what the numbers are doing there. That's a bit weird, isn't it? But never mind. Now let's get in the truck and park it outside. Okay, so we are ready to hook up the uh, the truck to the trailer right now. And just while we do that, I've added um, a new feature to our running lights button here, or switch. So now we have extra lights, not only on the front, but also underneath as well. We've got some red ones there, um, just for a bit of extra visibility at the back. But also, it might just look a bit better having red lighting underneath as well. Something, something extra there. Okay, so let's now reverse back, take the brakes off here. Um, also, I've got a new clock here, which it, it could be pretty handy, actually. And I've got... What else have I got? Hang on a minute. Let's just uh, have a look where we're going. <laughs> there we are. We've hooked up. Oh, yeah. Now, before we actually carry on, we do have to put the stand up underneath. Otherwise, we might, you know, crash it into the floor at some point. So let's come around here. And this button right there will move that up. Brilliant. There we go. Now let's head back into the truck. Okay, and we'll just pull it outside. Then you can see the, the proper scale of this thing. And uh, <laughs> it's rather big, I have to say. It's rather big. But there we go. We should be fine towing it. Look at that. It's enormous. All right. I'm very excited about this. Looking good. Shame about the, the, uh, the awful weather, but never mind. Okay, now another new feature we've got in this truck is this button down here. And by the way, if you can just see that dial, that is going to display what the generators on the trailer wheels are generating down there. And it won't be much, but it'll be a little bit. So that's pretty cool. We can see that going. Uh, but also we have this button here, which is going to turn on the brakes um, on the trailer itself and also the brake lights from our truck. Now that signal is actually passed through the electrical connector that we've got just down here between the truck and the trailer. That's where the signal passes through. Okay, now if I just show you around the back here, the lights are off at the moment. But if we press this button, the brakes come on um, for all six of these rear wheels actually, and the lights come on as well. So that is a very helpful system there. And uh, thank you to Eli for suggesting that. It's a very, very good idea. Okay, now today's trip is gonna be a bit different because instead of going from here, we're actually going to go down south to the other freight terminal, which is where we ended the previous episode, actually, and dropped off that other container. So we're going to go down there, and then we're going to bring two containers back up here instead. And the reason is that up here, we only have one container which goes down south. But down there, I've just checked it out off camera, and uh, we do actually have two containers, or actually, I think there's more than two, that we can bring up here. So that's why I want to do that, so we can actually, you know, get two at the same time onto this trailer and fully test out its capabilities. Anyway, let's get started then. So first of all, we have to turn off the trailer brakes. Next, we're going to turn on the diesel engines. So there we are, they're firing up now. And the throttle is 50%. That seems to be quite good. We might have to increase it a bit if we go faster this time. Um, but we'll see. Temperatures are fine. Climbing a little bit. RPS is good. Now, let's take the brakes off the truck and get moving down to the left-hand side of the building. And, yep, it's still pouring it with rain. <laughs> it might clear up a bit later. Um, I'm just thinking, actually, about if we have to contend with wind 
when we're carrying containers is that going to be a big problem it might be <laughs> it might be a big issue but we're going to take the same road that we did last time here um, and I just go down that way there's an outside view of the trailer and the truck moving together looks pretty good at the moment also let's put some lights on here oh we've already got running lights on um, what about high beam that's probably going to help a bit and I should keep doubly running there because I just got stuck on the hill but that's only because I, I let go of the accelerator by mistake <laughs> here we go then but I think we'll have no problem on this hill right here actually um, even though we're carrying not only a lot more weight but also we've got a bit more resistance as well we've got an extra two wheels and we've got the generators as well and all kinds of stuff like that but I think it's going to be easy and look at that I'm still sort of tapping W not really having any problems here are we I think we're just coming up to Holt Town which is just over there amongst the trees um, it's a bit foggy as well isn't it so oh hang on a minute let's put the monitor on Baylor seems to be okay yeah <laughs> just about all right up there look it is a bit nerve-wracking going down these uh, down these hills and around corners because the roads are not flat they are you know they, they've got a bit of a bank to them sometimes like this one right here can be a bit scary Anyway, I think what I'm going to do is, because we've had this journey before in the previous episode, I'm going to skip ahead uh, until we arrive at the destination, ready to load the containers onto the trailer, and then we'll drive back the next morning, and I'll show you guys the whole journey, uh, the whole adventure, and hopefully <laughs> nothing will go wrong. Alright, see you over down south when we're ready to load up our new containers. Okay, we've made it down south, and as you can see, there's quite a few containers here, a lot more than there were last time. Didn't we only have one here in the other world? I don't know why we've got tons more now, but anyway, it seems to have upgraded. Look how many choices we've got. So let's actually shut down the truck here, uh, go and have a look and see which ones we want to take uh, up north. That's Komodo, so we can't go there. I've got plans to go to Terminal Komodo, and they do give us a lot more money, so that's brilliant. But we can't do that right now. And again, BVG Freight Terminal, $17,000 for that one container. But we can't do that yet. That'll be for the future as well. Now, here is a Soya North Freight Terminal container, $4,000. So we could do this one. That's Spy Cakes, that one. North Freight again, so that's $2,000. Let's see if we've got another $4,000 one somewhere. Uh, oh, that's another $2,000 there. Spy Cakes as well. Another north one, which gives us 4,000 as well. Okay, so that's Lee Chemicals. I reckon we could do those two then. Let's just have a look through in case any of them give us more than 4,000. That's another Komodo. They used to do pay well, don't they? The Komodo ones are pretty good. Uh, 5,000 there. Spy Cakes, 9,000 for that one. It's quite a long way, but that's more of a train one, that. We could do it with a truck and go along the train tracks in the truck, but it'd be a bit of a way down there. There's Komodo again. BVG, $11,000, Komodo, and BVG again. So imagine if I took all of the BVG ones in one go. We'd be making like, you know, forty, fifty thousand dollars $50,000 out of that, hopefully. Um, but yeah, let's make a train for that in the future. Okay, so the ones we're going to take then are this one, which is the Lee Chemicals. And also this one right here, it's diesel, um, and it's also $4,000. So we're going to make $8,000 out of this run, minus a bit of fuel and, uh, and all that stuff. Okay, so I reckon the first thing we're going to do is drive the truck this way and into this gap, load up that tank and then reverse a little bit and then drive straight down there afterwards and that should be okay. Let's go and find out. Okay, here we go then. The scrap oceanic container is more or less going to cause us problems of some sort. We're going to have to load this tank onto the front bed of the trailer, I reckon. Otherwise, we're just not going to be, uh, <laughs> we're not going to be achieving much here. So trouble is I've got to turn left. Right, that might be okay. Just there. Okay, so to control that crane over there, we're going to use these controls here on the side of the trailer. So first of all, we're going to bring the crane out. And that's going to be with this control here. So we'll just do that. And as you can see, the frame, which is perfectly sized for a container like this, it'll go all the way out to the end. And then we're going to lower it down at the same time now. So you press that button there. And there it goes, a bit lower. Hopefully the positioning of the truck is okay. It has been tricky, hasn't it, <laughs> to match it up. Actually, that's not bad. And we'll just get it a bit lower. There we go. Right, let's bring it in a bit now. There. That's pretty good, isn't it? Look at that. I'm quite surprised. It's not quite matching up over here because of the angle. 
but what should happen is it should magnetize on with a lot of force and hopefully connect up properly. We're about to find out. Now before we do any of that, let's put down the stands and put the mags on as well. So we'll just do this. There we go, they're down. We'll turn on the mags there. We're also going to put this stand down and turn those mags on. And we're going to put the brakes on for all six tyres at the back. Just to be extra sure that everything is going to be fine. There we go. That's ready. We'll put the mags on here. Right then, let's go round and actually pick up this container. Please can it work? I just really hope it does. First of all, we take the top connectors off. That's the release, by the way. So if you turn that off, it's able to connect now. The connectors are now live on the crane. Now that's going to connect. One. Yes, it's done. Yes, it's actually worked. Okay, now let's just hope the trailer's not leaning too much. It should be okay. Look at that, it's almost perfectly flat, just a little bit angled there. Okay, so with that first container connected up, now let's lift it onto the trailer. And to do that, we're going to go up first. So if I just hold this button, and yeah, the weight is going to naturally try and pull it in a bit. So at the same time, we have to hold it out. Otherwise, it's going to get caught on the side of the trailer there. Um, but it's almost at the right height already, so we'll just keep it out and there we go almost at the top there we are okay now let's hold it out and then quickly pull it in and hold up as well there we go it's yes it's not getting caught or anything look at that absolutely fantastic no problem at all okay now the next bit is the uh, the scary and tricky bit because sometimes these trailers, or at least my trailer, can start doing backflips and barrel rolls and all sorts of things when you actually connect up the containers to them. Not every time, but sometimes. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do now is bring it down a bit just so that it sort of rests flat on the trailer. Um, that's really important. So let's just bring it down and actually it's probably already pulled down the arm a bit. There we go. So it's just gently putting it down. Now we're going to release it. But first of all, we need to switch on a few buttons here. So let's now uh, disconnect. Well, we're going to disconnect the top connectors and then we're going to um, sort of power the connectors down on the bed as well so i'm going to jump up here and then press that button there as quickly as possible basically so let's do that now All right that's done that's done one connect i think i have to turn on this one as well here we go there connect yes okay yes it's done it it's done it Oh, amazing. Okay, that was scary. <laughs> uh, yeah, as I say, sometimes that can go very badly wrong indeed. But it's done. It's worked. So now I'm going to very carefully put these things back in. Oh, my goodness. Okay, this is really scary stuff, this is. Um, I'm going to turn this off as well, which is the other stand. And I'll put that in. Fantastic. And next, I suppose, the thing to do is to line up with the other container and do the same process again. That was the hard one, right? Because we had to sort of be at an angle and it was not easy. But this time, um, this container and this passageway is nice and straight. It shouldn't be anywhere near as difficult to position ourselves. Let's get in the truck and give it a go. We'll close the door so we don't snap it off on the side of a container. And there we go. We're easily driving backwards now. Just get it nice and straight. And we'll take up a big run up if we can, so we get nice and straight for the next uh, passageway through those containers. And then at the end, look, if you look right at the back there, there's a lot of room for us to turn around on and begin our journey back up north to deliver these things. That's good, but first of all, <laughs> let's just do this. And I believe this dock here you can buy for about $50,000, so that's not bad. We probably don't need to buy it right now, do we? I'd rather buy a hangar, to be honest so that we could potentially build an aircraft or, you know, just bigger land vehicles or bigger trailers uh, with, you know, less restrictions and things as well. So we'll see. Um, I don't know exactly what we're going to do yet. But there are plenty of plans for the future, of course. So let's go now. Um, is this a good... Let's turn off the engines. Is this a good position to be in? Um, <laughs> it looks a bit risky, doesn't it? I think we're all right. Look at that. Just about creeping through there. Oh, it's so tight on either side. 
we're going to drive straight past and line up that container with the back of our trailer now. So, yeah, okay, okay. It's all right. God, this is tricky, isn't it? This is really quite tricky to do. I'm right up against this tank here, probably actually moving it a bit. Whoops, I'm probably scratching the paint off the, uh, the rims there. There we go. Oh, stop, stop, stop. Look at that. That's pretty good. That's actually very good. I reckon that's perfectly positioned for us. Right, can I get out? <laughs> that's the next question. Um, yes, I can. Okay, now let's uh, let's do the whole process again. So we're going to put the rear brakes on. We're going to put the stands down. I think this is the one here, isn't it? So put that one down. Put these down as well. Put the uh, There's the brake button there. This is a lot heavier now. So that stand was struggling to actually uh, deploy itself. <laughs> but it is working. So put those, oh, put those mags on. And we'll put these ones on as well. There we go. We can hear that sound as they activate. Okay, so now our controls are going to be over on the other side or the uh, the front of the trailer. Exactly the same setup, but I've just copied and pasted them over here so we have a nice sort of viewing angle to see what we're doing. So first of all then, we're going to go out a bit. Just bring it all the way out if we can and down at the same time. There we are. That's pretty good actually. It's almost at the right level already, so we don't want to go too far down. There we are. Bring it all the way out. Is it going to match up? Oh, not quite. But you know what? Hopefully they'll attract each other and everything will be fine. <laughs> Let's bring it down a bit. A little bit more. There we go. That's about level, isn't it? So yes, yeah, slightly off there. A little bit concerned about how aggressive the uh, you know the connection is going to be. <laughs> Let's try it and see what happens. Okay, so just as before, we're going to start to activate these top connectors here. And then we're going to switch this button here and it should... Oh, careful. Okay, okay. How strong is that? That's amazing. I mean, the truck didn't move at all. This container literally just went flying through the air <laughs> into that frame. But it's worked. That is the important thing. So now let's lift it up. Right, it's at the top now. So now we're going to go in. Come on. Yes, look at that. Very neat and tidy. Next is the scary part, where, as I say, the trailer can start doing crazy, uh, crazy acrobatics if we're not careful. Okay, so it's fully in. Okay, let's just go and inspect that. And the weight of it's probably, yeah, you can see the weight of it just pulling down the crane anyway. So it's probably going to rest very neatly on the trailer by itself, actually. And now we have to connect these connectors up here. Here's the top connector release. So that's done. Okay, now hopefully it's not moving. I think it's moving a bit. So I'm going to come around here, turn those on, and we're also going to turn on that button there. There. Come on. Yes! Yes! It's worked! Oh, yes. That was scary. I'm so glad. I'm so glad that's okay. Right, we're fully loaded up, guys. Okay, so that weighs a total of about 5,000, two and a half each for each container there. And we are carrying chemicals and diesel so you know nothing could possibly go wrong right <laughs> let's see what happens okay so now we're going to put this stand in first so mags off oh dear okay okay it's moving about a lot uh, turn those mags off bring that stand in as well okay is it going to be difficult to get out of this position it might be <laughs> there's so many things that can go wrong here <laughs> but that's what's fun about it right it's pretty fun stuff okay so now let's turn off the brakes here as well oh yeah look okay, this is what's uh this is what's going on over here some real wheel shenanigans there but let's uh, let's open the door head inside and uh, and see if we can get out of this sticky situation basically back we go Right, and then forwards. Go, 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 go. <laughs> yes, okay. Very good, very good. Oh, look at that. That's brilliant, isn't it? Okay, and then we go round the corner here. Oh, that was close. <laughs> look how close that is to the barrier. Um, I went wide just to make sure we didn't catch on anything, but it's okay. It's all good. Now, let's stop here. On the way back, I'm going to try and take a slightly different route. Most of it will be the same. So we're going to go all the way up here, past the junction as we did before. But this time, we're going to go right at the fork instead of left here through Holt Town. 
and you know it's just a little bit of a different journey but I think uh, I think it's a bit flatter uh, at least over here and we go in between these two uh, lakes, I don't know if they are lakes, but whatever they are, then actually it does join back onto the same road anyway here because that's where we departed from right here. So we're going to join up there and, and get home and deliver our containers and get our reward. Let's go. Okay, everybody, it's now the next day. It's morning. It's a bit misty and foggy as well, which is going to be quite cool, actually. I quite like to drive in some challenging uh, conditions. So that's going to be interesting. But we're going to get on our way now and hopefully the sun will stay out for the whole journey. So let's not waste any time. But I thought it'd be much better to start, you know, in the morning and uh, give us a whole day of sunlight here. So let's hop into the cab. And uh, there's the road just there. So let's start up our generators now. There we go, 50%. And we should have pretty much full battery at the moment as well. So that's good. We'll turn, uh, we've got some cab lights here. I might leave them on, actually. Makes things a bit brighter for us in the cab here. Right, engines are fired up. Let's release the brakes. And we're moving. We're moving. I think the trailer brakes are off. Feels like it. Yeah, that's, that's okay. <laughs> okay, let's go. So who knows what the weather's going to do. We could actually check on the map and see if we've got any rain coming our way as well, actually. We could do that. But let's carry on for a bit first and, and see what happens. We seem to be now straight with the road. Let's speed up a bit here. We can still go pretty quick, I think, even with these two containers. It feels, it, it's like it really wants to go. <laughs> I'm just holding down W, look, 11 meters per second, 12 meters per second. I'm just going full power while it's quite flat, just for a test. We're going slightly uphill here, dropping a bit of speed, it has to be said. But then we are, we are carrying a lot of weight behind us. Battery is dropping there, okay. Very good, right, let's uh, sort of resume ordinary speeds and, and see how we get on. I have to say that I can really feel the extra weight now, and I know it sounds obvious because there is more weight, but I can actually really feel it in this thing. Um, it doesn't feel bad at all. But it's, it just feels like it's there. It's something you're always conscious of. <laughs> so, uh, um, yeah. But, you know, the only things I'm really worried about are slopes that go kind of sideways near water or whatever. Um, and also hills. There is one particular part which is on the other side of the tunnel going this way, I think. Where it's pretty, pretty steep just for a couple of metres. So, <laughs> we might have to either go around it or take a bit of a run up and hope for the best. But apart from that bit, I think all the rest of it, if we're careful, should be okay, actually. Look at this visibility here. We can hardly see anything. I think it's getting worse, to be honest. Let's turn off the monitor for a bit, just because it probably saves a bit of power. And as you can see, we're generating tiny amounts here from the generators on the trailer, but it is working. So I'm not quite sure... Maybe I should have generators on every single wheel. That would be six instead of two. Oh, careful. Careful, uh, but we'll see how that goes. Let's have a look from outside. There we are, and our chemicals on the back. Plenty safe enough, I'm sure. <laughs> chemicals and diesel. But uh, yeah, let's carry on here into the mist, and it is getting worse, isn't it? It's getting really quite thick here. So <laughs> who knows how it's going to go? I'll slow down a lot just to be careful. But we are already making very good progress, I have to say. Over a bit of a hill there. There we go. Pick up a bit of speed on the downhill. 11 metres per second. That's not bad, is it? That really is quite good. Over another little hill here. Not dropping too much speed there. And I'm now... Oh dear, okay, I'm on 89% battery. So we will have to probably turn up the generation a bit. There we go, 61%. And that should really help us. If I just tap W for a bit, we should be able to get to 90 and beyond. There's the generation, look. But it's still going up. Slowly but surely. And we still have a lot of fuel left, so there really is no concern about fuel and power generation. Even if we, you know, drain the whole tank of diesel, um, that's going to cost us, you know, $1,400 to drain the whole tank. But actually, you know, if we're making eight grand here, hopefully, it's not a bad profit, is it? Even with, you know, a worst case scenario. 
Okay, we're just going up the brow of a hill here and down the other side. Um, it feels alright, goodness me, the visibility. I, I like it though, I like this. It's really, it's better to have a challenge, isn't it? And at least it's quite bright. So we can sort of see what's happening. So now we're on 92% battery. It is climbing, we're still moving here. And I think soon we might actually see the tunnel. Is it just over there? There it is, there's the, the entrance to the tunnel. So that's very cool. We're almost there. Oh, it's getting clear. Oh, look at that. It's suddenly very quickly become clear. That's good. <laughs> that was a very quick transition. But anyway, who knows what's going to happen next. Can you just imagine if a tornado came up on the side of us now and just, you know, wrecked it completely? <laughs> It'd be quite amusing, but also quite frustrating. Who would like to see, you know, tornadoes and other sort of natural disasters? You know, really strong hurricanes and everything. Who'd like to see that sort of thing in the game as well? I think it'd be quite fun. Okay, now what I want to try and do is just to stay over 90% battery. So we're going to have to balance going faster sometimes when we when it's to our advantage. But also slower and regenerative driving as well, you know, when we can as well. Because these hills are what we need the extra power for. Because if you have 100% battery, um, it not only does it give you extra life, but also you get more power into the motors. And therefore you can get up the hills easier and go faster as well. So there really is that balance we've got to be careful of. But now I'm going to hold W, maximum power here, and see if we get up this hill. Oh, please. But I didn't take a very good run up on this one. Look at that. No problem at all. We're actually accelerating now up the hill. Brilliant. Okay, and that is not even at full battery. Right, now we're going into the tunnel here. Which, if you remember before, it felt like ice going through this thing. The ground felt like it was made of ice. It was so slippery. But I reckon that's because on the trailer we had the, not the high grip tyres, but the ordinary normal tyres. And that's probably what happened there. But it seems to feel much better actually. Let's just turn the monitor on and have a look. It does feel much better, doesn't it? And it's now, what is it? Just nearly 10 o'clock in the morning. So it's just turned 9.59 there. Um, so plenty of time here. We should get there by, I don't know, just after lunch. <laughs> Stop off for a sandwich somewhere. Uh, or a bacon a bacon roll. <laughs> and then, uh, you know, and then we'll get there in good time for mid-afternoon, probably. But now we're exiting the tunnel. And right here, just over there, is where that steep bit of hill... Is it there? Or, or it's just that bit, I think. I'm a bit worried about that. Oh, no, there it is. It's one of these three inclines. It's only a couple of metres, but it's quite steep. <laughs> so, uh, you know, wish me luck on this. <laughs> we'll see what happens. But this is the only bit that I'm actually worried about. How much battery have we got? 94. Let's try and charge it up a bit here. Um, there we go. Try and get it to 95, 96. If we can. Let's creep towards it. There you go. That's 95 now. Fuel is just under a thousand litres now, so we've used up, what, four, just over 400 litres um, on the entire journey from the very beginning. So that's excellent, actually. That is really excellent. But here we go. Here, is, there, there's that really steep bit. There's a mini steep bit here, but that bit is what I'm scared about. <laughs> and it's not flat either. It's kind of, look at the road there. There's got a, a bit of a... A couple of angles to go over. Oh, here we go. I'm just going to go for it. Not full power, but quite fast. Let's have a look from the outside. Oh, there we go. Look, it's... Oh, come on. Full power. Oh, my goodness. Yes. I don't know. Oh, hang on. The trailer's, the trailer's bending or tilting. We're all right. We're all right. Oh, yes. Okay. Okay, here's the top of the hill. So yeah, I don't know if that came over well on camera, but we uh, we were sliding a bit and the trailer obviously was tilting there slightly as well, but we made it up. And now there's no problem at all. Wait a minute, there's another angle. <gasps> okay, okay, careful. We don't want to go over that bit. Look at that bit down there. That's really bad. <laughs> oh dear. Yes. All right, all right, panic over. <laughs> panic over for the moment. How much battery do we have? 95, that's brilliant, okay. I think that's the worst bit of the journey, to be honest. Okay. So we can just cruise home now, right? <laughs> Hopefully. Let's turn the camera off. 
and it's now half past ten, just gone half past ten in the morning. The wind turbines are spinning away. Do you know what? I've got I've had a really good idea, or at least I think it's quite a good idea, is that I reckon there should be some charging points um, on the base of those wind turbines or from a building in that area. Hang on a minute. We're sort of going down an angle to the left here. There's a bridge over there as well, which is pretty cool. We don't need to go over it, sadly, at the moment. Maybe one day we'll go over that. I think it'd be really cool if there was a charging port um, in that sort of area where the wind turbines are. So if you've got an electric vehicle and you're running low on diesel for generation, or you might not even have a diesel generator or a jet generator at all, um, it'd be quite cool to just connect up to it and, uh, and then be on your way again. It'd be pretty cool. Um, so I think you know, it'd be nice if that was added at some point. Um, and it makes sense, right? I mean, you know, that does generate power, that place, hopefully, anyway. <laughs> It'd be a nice use for uh, a location which is already there. Uh, but now let's continue here. And I love the scenery here. It's just amazing, isn't it? It really is quite nice to drive through here. Luckily, no rain. I can hear the wind. The wind is picking up. Although, yeah, look, you can see it as well in the air. You can see the streaks of wind. Um... It doesn't seem to be too strong at the moment, and no doubt it will have an effect on our trailer, which is going to collect up a lot of wind, isn't it? <laughs> so we'll have to be careful, but here's a view from the outside. Absolutely brilliant. Okay, now we're just going full power up this hill here, because it's not that steep, but it's long. Look at that, it's the long way up, and we're probably slowing down. Only a little bit, actually we are maintaining speed more or less. 10.5 metres per second there. Let's have a watch over the top and see what happens to that trailer. Do any wheels leave the ground? Uh, yeah, it's not too bad, is it? Better than I expected, anyway. <laughs> What's the time now? Just gone 11 o'clock in the morning. Loads of time. And now we're going to go in between, well, sort of uh, around the edge of this mountain here. But there's a bit of a valley through here, just a very small valley. Where the banks are towering above us on either side. But I think if we stick to the road... Uh, there shouldn't be too much of an issue. We just don't want to catch the grass or the rock because that could tip over the trailer. If we're not careful. So yeah, we do have to watch out here. We will keep an eye on that monitor as well, just to make sure. Oh, just to make sure that things are not going sideways behind us. Okay, now a small hill here, but again, the road is kind of tilting to the left, and that's a bit... Oh, no, 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 we're not going left yet, are we? No, we are. Oh, hang on. Wait, where are we going? Oh, yeah, this is where we're going now, isn't it? We're going to take this different route. So before we came down that way, but now we're going to go this way, and I will just check the map to make sure we've taken the right road. But that was close, wasn't it? A bit of indecision there. Oh, my goodness, the trailer. Oh, my goodness. No, save it, save it, save it, save it. Oh, no. Right, we're going to have to shut down the engines really quickly here. Come on, shut them down, shut them down. What are we going to do? I mean, I can't get outside that door, but we can get out this door. Um, this is going to be a bit tricky to do. Everything is off. Let's turn off the lights as well. Oh, dear, this has gone real sideways this time, hasn't it? <laughs> Now don't worry, of course we're going to sort this problem out. Uh, we'll probably have to rescue this in the next episode and then finally get our money. But can I... how do I get out of this thing? Can I jump onto the ladder somehow? Oh yes I have! Wait a minute! Oh my goodness, no! Oh my goodness, wow, what just happened? Um, it's flipped over. <laughs> Look at... Oh no! <laughs> Look at that, when I get my torch out, my hand goes inside my body. <laughs> that's amazing, let's get a, cl a close-up shot of that. Oh, that's brilliant, I don't know what... <laughs> oh, absolute genius. Absolute genius, look at that. Okay, now this is very interesting, we could save this here, hang on. I'm going to get off the truck. Hey, what's going to happen? Right, what's going to happen here? Okay. Oh, it's going somewhere. Oh, no. I should put the brakes on, actually. Oh, no. Oh, no. 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 Get back on the ladder. <laughs> it just, it's, it's like a dog chasing its own tail. Hang on a minute. Um, <laughs> what is going on? I could release it. Or we might be able to flip this trailer back over with the truck here. 
I don't know what's going to happen. I think it's stuck now. Hang on, it's better to save the truck, isn't it? Hang on a minute. No, no, no. It's gone a lot worse. It's gone... Oh, no, that stopped. <laughs> okay. Basically, we're done. <laughs> Yeah, we have to go and do a rescue mission now to get this thing uh, this thing sorted out. Um, but don't worry, we will deliver these containers. We are going to do it somehow. But I might have to do this rescue in the next episode. I did not expect this to happen. But it does give us another job to do. And that's going to be fun as well. That's what it's all about. It's about building and rescuing. So I suppose we are keeping within the theme of the game. <laughs> anyway, how do I get back up here? Is there a way of climbing on? But guys, unfortunately, that'll be all the time we have for in this episode then. Um, but yeah, don't worry. As I say, we will rescue this thing. And uh, I'm going to have to design some kind of vehicle or even adapt a vehicle I've already made in order to fix it. But we're not far from home, actually. Our home, there's the train track. Look, so it's just around the corner. So it's not too far away. And I can't wait to rescue this. It's actually going to be a lot of fun, I think. But for now, thank you so much for watching, everybody. Take care. And I hope to see you all very, very soon. Bye, guys.